what goes on in the mind of an average Nigerian youth. Go to school, graduate with good grades, get a job and a wife, and live happily ever after. According to a survey by Orb Media, a large percentage of young people in Nigeria under 40 years of age are not interested in politics. The survey, conducted from 2005 till 2018, shows that young Nigerians prefer the democratic system of government to other forms of government, but political discussions among these segments of the population tend to be limited to the social media. The youth tend to be more active in public protests and demonstrations, leaving active political engagements to people over 40 years of age. To these young people who do not vote, the corruption in the system negates the principle of democracy and makes them lose interest in the process. But then, is it a total disconnect from politics? We do have young people or younger people who are getting into politics actually vying for different uh, levels of offices from presidential down to House of Assembly and uh, all, or some other cadres. And yes, I can say it is changing. Nigeria isn't the only country grappling with this low youth participation in politics. In Zimbabwe, the ousting of former president Robert Mugabe provided an opportunity to the youth of the country to step into the political turf. And many of the nation's youth indeed show their desire to change the leadership of the country to a younger person and threw their weight behind Mr. Nelson Chamisa, who they considered as representing the voice of the youth. It's important for young people to get involved because you're going to be the new generation. Apathy doesn't get anyone anywhere because with apathy, the rigging me mechanism, if it does exist, will carry on going on. So if you are apathetic, so be it. But right, voting is your choice. Voting is your right. It's your duty. Although the result of the election wasn't what they expected, the chance to make their voice heard was more than enough.